You know, Batman has to have the longest enemies list of any person, fiction or nonfiction. It's a wide range that includes a gangster with a black mask to a giant mutated crocodile. In fact, out of the four main Arkham games, they've only covered half the list. Despite each game covering about several of them, Scarface never got one of the spotlights. But one thing he does very well is stalk the caped crusader. Scarface, if you don't know or don't care, is one half of the puppet and ventriloquist duo from the comics. The dummy looking like an old school gangster, puppeteered by the loyal but timid Arnold Wesker. They share a similarity of the puppet and puppeteer from the movie The Dead of Night. The first game where you can find the wooden guy is the first Arkham game, Arkham Asylum, in the Warden's office. Kept in a display case, he's one of the riddles, and you can get his bio. In the sequel, Arkham City, he is shown in a bigger display case in the museum. The Penguin has rigged it to automatically dance when you press a button. And in the last game, Arkham Knight, he is in another display case in the Gotham PD Museum. And that is the entire story of Scarface in the Arkham series. Always behind glass, and Batman doesn't care about him. Oh no wait, he actually shows up in Arkham VR. It's in one of the cells, and it's the only time where he appears to move by himself. Of course this was just all a nightmare, but damn is it creepy. But there is something going on here that we probably overlooked. You see, at the end of Arkham Asylum, you can see Joker using Scarface to point out he's failed and that Batman's about to kick his ass. But the lore says something else, that this isn't actually Scarface, it's a Joker knockoff Scarface, with a carved smile, and he made several more of these. So in the Penguin Museum and the Police Museum, you are actually looking at knockoffs. The only time you were ever looking at the genuine real thing was in Arkham Asylum, and there's no news of what happened to the puppet. Possibly it's back with Wesker. And despite how much we look, I don't think we'll find Wesker in any of the games, apart from a bio image of him. It's really disappointing that we never got to see Batman and Scarface face off, but the whole use of uh, G-Man tactics to stalk the Dark Knight fits with kind of what he is. Puppets aren't alive, but they're made for the illusion that they are. And the illusion that he's gonna follow Batman wherever he goes is enough to make you think and get disturbed by.